Okay, so we're going to do some work uh, with connected masses. And I guess the best place to start is by simply connecting two masses on a flat table. No friction even. Now here's the deal. This string or rope or whatever you want to call it is stretchless. It's massless. That's probably uh, right now, but um, by being stretchless, that means if I were to pull on M2, there would suddenly be a tension in this string that would work to pull M1 along. Now, M1 doesn't know I'm here pulling with force F. M1 simply feels the tension uh, of this in this string pulling it. Now, that tension that's pulling M1 is going to pull back on M2. You know that Newton's third law thing? Uh, the tension at any point in this rope will be the same. Now, I've made it a massless string. And you know, if you, these masses uh, are big enough, that's a fair appro uh, assumption, approximation. Now, what we have going on? Let's look at M2 here. What's M2 feeling? All M2 knows, maybe M1 so far back it doesn't even see M2. All M2 knows is there's a force pulling it, and you know F equals MA, but it's not just F equals MA, it's the net force acting on a mass that will tell us quantitatively how, um, how much it'll accelerate. Now, that's not the only force happening to M2. There's also a tension. That's it. There's a tension. There's a force. That tells us how fast M2 accelerates. Now let's just save that. Um, if there were friction, it would also fight uh, the pull of F. But uh, that'll be the next problem. We also have uh, M1. All M1 is experiencing is a tension pulling it. If there were a friction, then that friction would pull back. Now these frictions will be different because the masses aren't necessarily the same. So let's save that thought. Uh, T equals M1A. Now, if this doesn't stretch, that means these are going to accelerate at the same rate. That's a handy-dandy little fact. Uh, the fact that this string doesn't stretch means the tension is the same throughout. Also handy and dandy. We don't know tension, but frankly, if I just add up all the left sides of the equation, the tensions will go away, and I'll find out that F equals, when I add up the right side of the equations, what does it equal? It'll equal M1 plus M2A. You do the math. Look, if I had just simply lumped this together, and if we don't care what the tension in the string is, it's as if I did lump these together. And I pulled M1 plus M2 with a force F, and that's what the acceleration would be. You knew that. 